Hey guys, and welcome to the very first episode of my cottage living series. So usually I do a creative sim where I make the Let's Play Sims and show you guys and talk about them a little bit more, but because that footage got corrupted, I don't really have that. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more of the talking in this episode and kind of introducing you guys to them a little bit more. So starting off with this sim, this is Eleanor Jane Worthington. She is actually a teen. I don't really start Let's Plays off with teens, but she isn't the only sim we're gonna be playing with in this series. She also has a little brother named Miles Worthington and he is a toddler So I'm really excited to see his little journey around the farm and everything as um, You know he gets older and plays around with the animals and everything So I'm really excited to see that and then lastly we have their grandfather Arthur Worthington, so I'll get into the backstory and all that in just a second But I have one last furry friend to introduce you guys to and that is Storm Worthington, so this is Storm, our furry friend, amongst our other animals. So the big question is, where are their parents? Now, their parents actually died fairly recently due to a poisoning. It was a very unfortunate death and not much they could have done to stop it because, you know, they got poisoned. And so basically their grandfather was granted guidance over them and it kind of worked out perfectly because his wife died a few years back and he's kind of a kind of abandoned his farm. He hasn't really been gardening all that much or anything of the sort. He kind of oh, fell into a very shush. deep sadness and he just didn't really want to do anything anymore. And Storm actually came along at a really good point uh, because shortly after his wife died, there was a huge storm that came across Henford on Bagley and he saw Storm, the, the dog, as a puppy out in the storm like scared and he took him in and it kind of felt like it was meant to be because he's kind of been like his companion throughout like his hardships recently um and especially now his son dying and his daughter-in-law it kind of is just a lot of loss and him taking in the kids is gonna help him you know have a stronger relationship with them as well as you know work on the farm that he feels bad that he kind of neglected. So we're gonna be starting his farm kind of from scratch again. And we're, I'm really excited to like get things going. We do already have some animals. We have a cow, a llama and a rooster and a hen. So I can't wait to kind of get on in that venture. We don't have any crops whatsoever. So we're gonna have to get in on that as well. As I mentioned, his wife did pass. She was such a goofy, quirky, childlike character, and she was a few years older than him, and she just was loving life to the fullest, and losing her was definitely extremely heartbreaking because they were always together ever since they met, and she said to him that, when I'm gone, don't be scared to fall in love again. So, because he's a romantic and she knows that even though he loves her very much like he kind of feels like a little missing piece in his heart and i think it never will get filled like his wife harriet filled it i know it's getting super dark it's kind of unfortunate that this is the time that i'm starting the let's play i already recorded this before and um my game crashed so i was like you know what maybe this is a sign that i should get things going a little bit better and all that and set things up a little bit more so also this cottage, I built it yesterday actually. And if you guys wanna go check out the speedball, I'll link it down in the description. I'll also put an I button in the top right hand corner. I will be uploading it on the gallery very soon. I just need to play test it and make sure it all works. So this is my time to play test. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get in on this series. So I also did end up doing the lot challenges, which, oh shoot, I just grabbed the tree, which are, um, simple living. So this one basically says that this re this lot requires ingredients to cook all recipes. Cooking with ingredients just makes food taste better, which I'm really excited to try because I feel like it's going to be a little bit of a struggle because you need to have, again, all the ingredients. And then we also have wild foxes, which says wild foxes will appear on this lot being a nuisance to your garden, chickens, and rabbits. So I'm curious to see how that is going to go. And then we have the uh, traits homey, peace and quiet, and great soil, which I thought was going to be, you know, kind of necessary for this. So let me go ahead and actually, let's just go into town, I think. Um, now, also, one thing I want to ask is if you guys could leave me a whole bunch of name suggestions for the animals, because we have a cow, 
uh, the llama and the rooster and the hen. I would love to have some names for them instead of them being called like brown hen, spotted cow, you know what I mean? So I'd love for some suggestions if you guys have any cool ideas. Now what we need to do is go ahead and get some seeds. Now I see that we can purchase oversized crop seeds, but I'm curious if we go into town. I know that in the trailer they showed like that marketplace. So I don't know how we get there. Would it be through here? I wonder if it's like open at this time. It might be too late. I'm gonna just take Eleanor with us. So she is fairly new to the town. So obviously she doesn't know many people. So it's time for her to like introduce herself. Oh, imagine if you could interact with that. That would have been cool. So basically, oh, another thing I wanna mention is I'm playing in my work in progress save file that is nowhere near done. That's why we have Mary Sue Pleasant and Daniel Pleasant here. I wanna see if there is, oh, the stalls are closed. I wonder if there's a certain time that they open. Hours of operation. You're kidding. I'm, I was late by, oh, well, two hours. So I guess we'll stop by here tomorrow and see what's up. Now we do kind of need some food because, well, listen, um, we can't make any food because we don't have anything. I wonder if we can just order some food here. 10 bar make drink. Okay, I can't order food. Dang it. Okay. Well, listen, I think what we'll do then is maybe... Is there like a grill or anything around here? Oh, there is. I'm gonna go ahead and grill some fruits and then we'll head back home with the plate to feed the rest of the family because we don't have anything there. So I think I'm just gonna purchase some oversized crops because I actually did notice that with the calendar, it shows you um, when the festivals are. So we have the Finchwick Garden Fair in, well, basically like two weeks. And then the week after that, we have the Finchwick Cow Fair. And then we have the Oversized Crop Fair. So I'm curious to know how long oversized crops take to grow. I'm not entirely sure, but I think what we'll start is that. Um, and then we also need to start growing some other stuff. <gasps> Wait, who is this? Oh my god, it's Agatha! Oh my god, hello girly. I want to introduce ourselves to her. Go be friendly, real quick. Just just introduce yourself before she leaves. You know who I'm excited to meet? Why is my camera, hello? Okay, I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm excited to meet Miss Agnes. Crumble bottom. Hello. Hi, who's this? Derek McMill. He's the guy from the trailer. He's so adorable. A uh, friendly introduction. Why don't you just introduce yourself to these people? This place is so cute. Like all these like little uh, fireflies, I'm assuming as well. Dag, dag. Okay, but we gotta go make food because everybody's gonna be hungry and I want to not be hungry. All right, well, we'll see you around guys, all right? Whoa, whoa. Oh, I forgot. She's clumsy. So let me actually talk about her traits real quick. So she's an animal enthusiast, which is a new trait that came with the game. So it says these sims are obsessed with animals and they will seek their company off it. They will have an easier time caring for animals and getting closer to them. And then she also has, again, clumsy trait and the aspiration country caretaker. So we've already done a couple of the, um, what's the aspiration? We've already purchased the cow, purchased a garden path and visit Finchwick, uh -huh. Old New Henford and the Bramble. Wait, did I visit all of those? Maybe I did. Um, and then we have socialize with a fox, rabbit, or bird five times. And put this in your inventory as well, and we'll go home. What is this thing that keeps... Oh, right, the notebook. So we can make friendly treats now. Uh, affects chickens, cows, llamas. Provides an immediate positive boost to the relationship between the sim and the animal. So it says you need any fruit or veggie. So we're going to have to purchase some of those uh, because, well, I want to be able to make some <laughs> treats for my animals. Currently, they have no name, but they will eventually. <laughs> Please don't. So as you guys saw my game crash, so we we're time traveling back to the past and redoing everything. Well, kind of. I'm just going to play from here on out. Maybe we'll go ahead and interact with the animals since we never got the chance to. So let's see. Feed, clean, socialize. Oh my gosh, you can do so many interactions. Smother beige llama with love. Which, oh, that means we can go back into town. Is this kind of cheating, me going back in time? I mean, no, it's not. It's because my game crashed. If this is the third time it's crashed while me recording. No, second, sorry. The second time it's happened. The first time I scratched the entire recording and, like, started doing, like, additional stuff to, you know, my Sims and, like, all that stuff. Um, and giving other Sims makeovers, which I lost those too, except for one household. So, 
you know what? So be it. Maybe I'm not meant to be playing this pack. It seems it. Also, I noticed that with my pond here, um, the cow likes to walk on it. And sometimes it looks like she's drinking water from the pond, but here, she's just standing on it, you know? She's dipping her feet in. Kind of. <laughs> not really, but let's pretend, okay? So I guess since it's not that late, we can go back into town and actually go ahead and go to those stalls. So I'm gonna head over there. I'm just gonna take uh, Arthur this time. And also, I named him Arthur because if you guys know the game Red Dead Redemption 2, the main character, Arthur, when I was thinking about this pack and stuff, I thought it was gonna be like more of a country type of pack where you had like horses and pigs and sheep and cows and all that stuff and like having a ranch and all that and i thought it was gonna be like that type of vibe i was gonna make him and play with him because i freaking love arthur morgan so yeah i was just like you know i'm gonna name him arthur and i feel like he looks like an arthur to me so i just adore him now let's go ahead and greet the um pub owner this is sarah i like that it says pub owner she's not like a bartender i mean she does like mixology and stuff and then we'll go over here before it's too late to buy stuff. This is Kim Goldblum. This is also a new sim. Uh, buy grocery shop items. That's what we need to do. Oh, he's gonna talk to the mayor. And I, I want him to like have relationships here. Which technically he should already have them since he's already living here, but listen. New save guys, it's fine. Also, they have so much money. Let me like bump that down to like 5K-ish. Yeah, did your makeup? Yeah. Your makeover is gone, girl. I'm sorry. I know. That's how I feel too. Trust me. That's how I feel. Uh, all right. What do we buy? Oh, we can buy a model, a model, a bottle of milk. Choco berry. This fruit tastes just like chocolate. <gasps> Ooh, chocolate eggs. Wait, you think that you think they can lay chocolate eggs? You can buy fire leaves now. You're telling me I struggled to get those in my not so berry extended save, and you could just buy them now. I wonder if you could buy them before too. Quill fruit? Quill fruit is hard to handle, let alone comfortably carry in your pocket. Like what's like the basics? A bottle of milk, cheese, an egg maybe? I know we have cows and chickens, but listen, wrapped white meat, wrapped red meat? Can I? Arthur has discovered information about an egg which has been added to the notebook. Yeah? Make by this is the standard egg that hens lay. You can also feed a hen a friendly tree, animal tree, to ensure the next egg they lay will be white. Oh, used for the ideal ingredient for egg-based recipes without any unwanted side effects. All right, and we also got bottle of milk, the standard milk that cows provide. Happier cows provide higher air quality milk. Oh, I like that it depends on um, their moods too. Used for a tasty beverage. Also the ideal ingredient for recipes that incorporate milk without any unwanted side effects. Lactose intolerant sims should seek out mighty plant milk. Oh, <gasps> mighty plant milk. How do we get that? Thank you for your shopping at our grocery shop. We appreciate your business. Have a nice day. The items Arthur purchased can be found in his inventory. <gasps> Agnes! Hey, girlie! Oh my god. Oh my god. Friendly. What if... What if somehow Arthur was able to use his char... What the hell? How are we one person now? Y'all don't know how to use stairs? What's your name again? Myra? Mila, sorry. Do you, did you forget how to use stairs, girl? What are you doing? Huh? Okay. But what if Arthur somehow magically was able to charm Agnes to becoming so super sweet and like a whole different person? Imagine. That'd be cute. But like, listen, I want to be smacked by the bag. So listen. Do I really want to make her nice? I don't know about it. <laughs> okay. Let's buy some stuff. Wait, we can sell items here? Oh, okay. Well, let me go ahead and buy some garden stuff. It's just like flowers. Listen, Agnes, I'm trying. Are you serious? Ma'am, I was trying to purchase from you, but if you don't want my business, I will not give you my business, okay? I cannot believe her. She's so angry. Okay, let's go introduce ourselves to um these sims i mean technically eleanor already introduced herself but that's dead and gone now so it's okay but this is the village mayor lavina it's a no who else is here oh yeah cross stitching oh yeah we gotta get into that 
I want to try. Let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to Thomas. Here's the thing. I thought when I saw this, I thought that meant like, oh, like we can go in and grocery shop. Imagine if we could though. I mean, I'm kind of glad that we have like this kind of stall thing, but it's like basically similar to like uh, the <laughs> stalls Navi. and like city living and stuff. So, We're going to go home uh, and start working uh, on our garden Lamina. because we need to get a head start on that, especially when I partake in the oversized crop there. I don't know how long it takes to grow and everything. So listen, we got to be mindful of time. How are my animals doing? You got so can I milk you now or no? Complain about cowpocalypse? <laughs> Excuse me? Milk? Oh, we can milk! Wait, go milk her. <laughs> oh no, did I put this pawn in a really bad spot? I think I did. I thought it was cute. <laughs> Wait, maybe, hold on. Okay, I think this is my only solution as to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and try and milk her. Can you now? I think you can. Ooh, uh -huh. I wonder if we have ingredients now in order to be able to like make something. Can we? <gasps> we can. Okay, so we have flour, bottle of milk, and any cheese. So I love that we can now cook together because it gives like that nice generations feel and I'm so excited to like do it. So I'm gonna have them cook together after, so. No grilled fruit for us today, as that was the original plan. Are you gonna do it? Ah, Arthur! He's gonna milk her! Oh my god, I love him so much, I'm gonna cry. I'm sorry, I'm already getting emotional about my sims. Like, I barely play with them and I'm already connected. Look how adorable he is though. My little old man. <laughs> okay, so now we should have a bottle of milk, right? Seven? She gave us six bottles? Six. You're interacting? Pet beige llama enthusiastically. Oh, this is so cute. Can you interact with them? Babble at the llama. Socialize, pet the llama. Okay, I need to have these two. Wait, how do I get cheese? Do I have to make the cheese somehow? From the cow? I, I'm curious. This is probably really dumb. Does this have to do with canning by any? No, definitely not. That was so stupid. Obviously you're not gonna like can cheese, but how do you make it? Are you gonna pet them? Oh my God, look at the llama. Look at Storm running around. <laughs> That's so cute, aw. I need some good names for these pets though. Okay, anyways, or for these animals. All right, so because you guys are hungry, let's go ahead and make the macaroni and cheese um, together. I can't wait until uh, Miles is older though so that he can actually also like help with cooking and stuff. The other thing that's really cool is like now you can actually make a cake from scratch. Like you need the ingredients to do so. I should probably save periodically so I don't lose stuff. Okay then, buddy old pal. <laughs> is she gonna take out ingredients as well or how is this gonna work? How are you guys gonna cook together though? Hmm. Oh. Are you just being here as moral support? I mean, I guess that's kind of cooking together, right? Like, you do that, Grandpa. Yeah. Wait, what is she doing? Oh, she's doing something. Okay. I need to add more light in here, I think. It's kind of dark right here, specifically. Yabba. Alright, we got mac and cheese asked to go potty and then we need to fill the bowl i completely forgot it to fill it what are you doing bud really gonna go play with the toilet of course you are because what other fun is here on the farm or on the cottage yeah mm, love that toilet water <laughs> so fun let's go ahead and read him to bed though so let's go read miles to sleep and then you you need to go to the bathroom what are you doing push-ups Girly, really? Ah. At this time of night, push-ups? I know that at 11.56, I'm not 
pumped up like that <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Definitely not. Gotta remember to put this away. I wonder if we could like start growing. Purchase an oversized crop. What do we do? Pumpkin? I feel like mushrooms look, would look really cute though. Maybe, maybe in the, oh, we could do two. Let's do, I wanna do a pumpkin. Like that's like classic. I'll do a pumpkin and then also, let me see. Um, We'll do a mushroom. We'll do a one mushroom and one pumpkin. To plant oversized crop seeds, keep these seeds in your inventory. Place a gardening patch and select plant oversized crops. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, let's do mushroom here and then a pumpkin seed right here. She does have her first day of school tomorrow. I should probably get her homework done and have her rest up. So after she plants this, we'll definitely do that. Now also, oh my gosh. So in my speed build, I was saying how, oh my God, I'm so excited they added a typewriter and stuff into the game. Turns out that that typewriter is actually just um, a computer that looks like a typewriter. And I was so gutted when I noticed that because I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be so good for my writing sim. <gasps> Wait, so you can plant that much stuff here? <gasps> Oh, I thought it was gonna be, I was not gonna have enough space. Okay, well, water this and water that. That means that we can start growing like more stuff here. <gasps> Self-sustaining from cooking with simple living lot tray. There's no better feeling than cooking with already owned ingredients. Yeah, I live. So I'm guessing that like sugar and like flour is stuff that you have to purchase. Like you can't like make that, you know? I also don't know what all the new uh, plants are either. I wonder how many more new ones there are. Let me see if we can see through this. So what I'm counting here is like eight new um, plants, I think. Did any new collections come with this pack? Oh, wait, Village Fair Robins? Village Fair Robins, Village Fair Ro Robins? Oh my God, can I read? <laughs> It clearly says ribbons! Village fair ribbons can be won through the competitions at the village fair in the town square. <gasps> okay, well you best know I'm gonna try and get all... Wait, there's more than nine. I love me some village fair robins. I really love this thing because there's like birds here. Gifting. Okay, discover gift presents. Arthur must wait until the flock wakes up to do this. I want to know what they like. Oh, it's starting to rain. Also, this tree that you get if you um, get the pack before, I think it's September 2nd? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but there's like three bonus items that you get. They end up being base game, uh, which I was surprised about because I thought that they were going to be like um, a part of like, you know, cottage living pack. Oh, chat with Eleanor oh. in the bathroom. You have no other place to chat but the bathroom, right? Okay. So I wonder... How stitch from patterns, simple. Let's do a small hoop. I wanna have him try this out. Oh, so we need red llama wool and blue llama wool if we want. Okay, so do you dye the llama then? I feel like that's probably what you'd have to do in order to get that. But we need to check up on the chickens tomorrow. I wonder, do you have to, I wonder if you have to buy the, like, chicks or if they hatch. Crossage skill acquired. Arthur has their 14 count eight of cloth at the ready as he embarks into the world of crossage. He can now stitch rainbows, shapes, and stick figures. We all have to start somewhere. Llama wool can be used to add the extra homemade Ooh. feel. I want to do that. Yeah. Wait, did you already do it? <laughs> Morn Harriet? Oh, no. Wait, did you already fin it? Wait, what? That quick? Hold on. Wait, I thought you could put these on the wall. Could you not? Oh, he didn't finish it. Just kidding. Are this finger still hurts on the last attempt? Better try again later. Oh, okay. So he poked his finger. Gotcha. She's getting a little tired. So I'm actually have her just go to sleep. And rest up before school so she's not extremely tired i'm most likely gonna have her meet sims though so that like she can hopefully meet sims from um henford on bagley that are teens and get to know them and all that oh look at them they're so cute okay. also i'm trying different lighting for the first time in like a while i usually always use those saucers those are like my go-to lights at 
all costs. But I was like, you know what? Maybe we should just like actually add to the feel of like this cottage house. I can't tell. Is there a yellow tone? I think there is a yellow tone for all of them. All lights. Oh, they are yellow. That's what I usually have, but I kind of like the yellow feel, the slight yellow feel to it. I'm going to do the one that's a little bit less yellow. Look at him and his curly hair. I love him so much. Look at him. He's so like happy and giddy. I'm sure that he's like feels a lot better now that like he has people living with him uh, because he's been alone for so long and like he does he never really got to see his grandchildren all that often because they didn't live in Henford on Bagley. So now he actually gets the opportunity to get to know them and you know take care of them and watch them grow and all that. So that's really exciting. Are you like awake awake? You know you can go to sleep you know and like rest up a little. He's so cute. Look at these PJs. Aren't they the most adorable thing ever? <laughs> I love them. You like them too, bud? Look at him. I love this hair. Are you floating? You're waking us up at 5 o'clock. You're starving! Oh my god. Listen, it's a wake-up call. Alright, let's go scatter feed nearby. Slightly dirty. <gasps> this is gonna be so interesting because I feel like we're gonna need to... Actually take care of them like crazy. Um, you're also slightly dirty and we need to refill feed. All right, Arthur, it's time to get up and work. Actually, you know what? We should have her get up too. There you go. Go eat up. Is there everything else? Okay, they're, they're clean. Oh, we have an egg to collect. <gasps> okay, okay, collect eggs. Where'd he go? Oh, he's inside. Oh, I thought they had to be out here. Oh, they're doing that inside. I kind of wish you could like see a little bit into this instead of it's just like a black hole into nothingness. Like, ooh, spooky. Oh, I guess maybe not so spooky. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? You guys enjoying your food? I hope so. That costs money, you know? It doesn't come for free. Arthur collected one egg from the chicken coop. Can you, so can you hatch the egg? That's what I want to know. Can I hatch it? Hatchable, no. Oh, they're not hatchable. Oh, so you can get either hatchable or non-hatchable eggs. Got it. Why are they obsessed with Miles' room for whatever reason? They keep coming in here. Like, I get it, guys. It's a decent room. Not my best, but like, I tried. I promise. <laughs> oh, you need a bath. Unhappy. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, clean. Clean the llama and then you can... Wait, I wonder if the rain can clean them. If they're out here in the rain... I feel like that should work. Well, if you're out here already, maybe you can go ahead and clean the cow too. Um, you might actually not have time. You have school. I forgot. Look at their face. Uh huh. Feels good, huh? <laughs> yeah, I feel like the rain should wash them. I want to go back into town, which I believe the market stall has opened, so we can probably head into town with Miles. Oh, you can't even go. Can you call the cow out? Oh, call over the cow. There we go. Actions. <gasps> trade? You can trade. <gasps> you can trade it for meat? Oh my god, why would you do that? No. I could never. Oh, I thought it said slow dance with the cow, but that's not. Uh, Arthur, that's not how you. Yeah. Oh, see. Oh, wait. She is clean, so it does work. Oh no, it says that she's still slightly dirty. Is it this that's dirty? Oh, clean the shed. The shed's dirty, not her. Oh, okay. I've been thinking it's the animal. I thought it was... Gotcha. So the so the rain does wash them. That's so cool. Oh yeah, oh my god, I forgot about you. I'm so sorry. Miles? It's okay, I'm, I, I totally forgot. Yeah, Grandpa's coming. Here he comes. In any second now. See, there he goes. Not you being filthy too, Storm. How do I make Sims and then get obsessed with them, like, so quick? How? Okay, can dead Sims stop calling me? Romantic lesson. Arthur's a romantic. Yes, thanks for letting me know about my Sims, um, traits. Which, did I even go over his? He loves the outdoors, also is an animal enthusiast, and is romantic. And then, um, he's also a country caretaker, which I bought cows and stuff like that, but I don't know why it doesn't count. Uh, and then, what else? Miles is wild, so I feel like that suits him. 
<laughs> the sound that he made before he fell asleep. <laughs> okay. I feel bad. Arthur, like, needs some rest and, ev and to eat and all this. And, like, he's just so preoccupied with everything else. And Storm's just out here waiting for his bath. I like that, like, they do have, like, a good amount of space to walk around. I thought that they were just going to be, like, stuck to, like, right at the entrance. So I kind of like that they get to walk around a little bit. There you go. Enjoy your little bath. <laughs> Why is he so adorable? I say that as he's in the bathtub. <laughs> okay, that's a little weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe let's not say that when there's an older man in the bathtub. <laughs> anyway, Eleanor should be home from school very, very soon. I do have a picnic basket, which I really hope that we can go on a picnic um, sometime soon because I think that'd be really adorable. So, did that bunny just move? I swear, I just saw that bunny, like, move a little bit back and forth. Okay, I think I'm going crazy. I Okay. <gasps> There's a fishing spot right here. Oh, that's, like, I like that. I also noticed, so, when I was making this little pond thing, I thought this was a fishing post. Turns out this is what you stock the pond with. Like, what fish you want to stock the pond with. So, yeah, the more you know. Look, <laughs> look at them run. I wonder if we'll ever get any other animals in the future. Like, I thought that this pack was gonna come with, like, you know, horses and stuff, which obviously it didn't. I still think it would've been cute, especially with all, like, the open land that you have. Oh, we found Vitality Fertilizer. Oh yeah, I meant to get a trash can, I keep forgetting. How are you already dirty again? Listen, Miss Thing, you gotta relax, okay? Stop getting dirty. I don't know what you're doing. You're not, I don't see you rolling around here getting dirty left and right. So please explain. What What's going on? Well, you guys are all adults. <gasps> Do they have birthdays? Like imagine if you had like a little birthday for them and they would wear like a party oh. hat or something. <laughs> are you going to bed? No, stop taking care of the chickens. Listen, okay. You want to smother her with love before you go to bed? Sure. If that's what'll make you happy... I'm all for it, okay? Nopsa. Nopsa Lamita. You uh, calling her trash? <gasps> there's a bunny! <gasps> oh my god, there's a bunny. Wait, wait, wait. What happens? That's what you get for calling her trash. You deserve whatever she did, because I missed it. There's a freaking bunny. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, go socialize? Wait, wait, don't run away. You know what's crazy? Is this bunny literally looks like a bunny that I had. Like, I'm gonna name it. I didn't have um, a really unique name for my bunny, but I named the bunny Buddy. So I'm gonna. <gasps> You're eating. You're. <gasps> Why are you so cute? I miss having a bunny. You're so cute. Can we shower in the rain? I mean, it's pretty. Oh, it's about the thunderstorm. Gossip about the flower bunny. Well, I don't know about that. Pet enthusiastically, please. I know that you like smell and everything, but I just want to. Oh, that's nice. Say bye, boy. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Well, guys, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end this episode off right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. I'm really excited to dive in and play with them a lot more. But that is pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye, guys.